So I'm not against AI guys, but I'm just saying that there's certain places and time for it. And so what we see Sam Altman say from two years ago to six months ago to now changes constantly. And I just don't like that two-faced behavior. Now, Altman admits that most people share the most personal stuff in their lives with ChatGPT, and he acknowledges that there's no legal protection for these conversations like there is with a therapist. So his solution is to hope lawmakers figure it out while they keep collecting the data. So this isn't just privacy negligence. This is building a surveillance trap. The regulatory hammer is coming, and he knows it. So when confronted about environmental impact, his answer is basically, well, let's invent fusion. You know, the thing we've been going for for like 100 years. He admits that they're burning resources now hoping future technology will solve the problem. The cooling and power requirements he describes are environmentally catastrophic. His data centers consume water resources that communities desperately need. This is classic tech bro thinking. Breaking things now, innovate solutions later is someone else's problems or our kids' problems, right? Now, again, if your company has problems and you have systems that aren't connected, reach out because we can definitely help you. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. Now, Allman openly admits that cameras are all over the place with facial recognition hit, right? He describes this dystopian future as inevitable but uncomfortable. His words were, do I find that dystopic? Dysentopic. I can't say that word. Like, of course you do, he says but they're building the technology anyways. The cognitive dissonance is staggering when he admits the dystopian implications. So when asked about AI regulation, he basically throws up his hands and says, lawmakers need to figure it out. He admits to having underground concrete heavy reinforced basement, right? So he, you know, like that's called a bunker, right, Sam? But like he admits to having this and his long-term plan is to hope society figures it out to distribute AI benefits fairly. So this isn't visionary leadership. This is a reactive damage control. The guy shaping AI's future for the largest AI platform is like is preparing for societal collapse. And I'm not really a tinfoil hat guy, but this guy terrifies me. Leaders don't build bunkers unless they're expecting their decisions to backfire spectacularly. Now, Altman admits that most value from AI is accruing to the cluster owners, meaning him and his investors. His solution for economic inequality is to give everyone a slice of world's AI capability. So he can't explain how economic redistribution could actually work. This isn't sustainable economics. This is wealth concentration disguised as dem democratization. So the math simply doesn't work when you need massive infrastructure to support basic AI services. So when asked about Peter Thiel's 22 second hesitate, uh, uh, excuse me, on Sam Altman's um, 22 hesitation on human survival, he defends himself. He describes people's potentially needing more computatory to succeed in the future. So his vision of human AI merger involves uploading personality patterns to machines. He admits to having underground concrete, heavy enforced basements for protection. This isn't humanistic technology leadership. This is a tech authoritarianism. The mask is slipping and we're seeing who's really making the decisions about one of the largest AI providers. Now, I know this sounded all gloom and doom, but I'm not obviously a huge fan of Sam Altman, and I think we need to be sounding this alarm a little bit. I think there needs to be regulatory concerns looking into some of these huge companies because some of the things he's saying here are, like, are really scary. Like, if we heard the CEO of Google saying this, people would be going crazy. If we heard Satya Nadala saying this, people would go nuts. Sam Altman is sounding half unhinged, so it's not surprising that he tried to be ouster not that long ago. Now, what do you guys think? Bring on the haters, because I guarantee there's going to be a lot of people telling me how amazing Sam Altman is and how he's changing the world. Here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers as well as build custom software solutions for companies. Leave a comment down below because I'd be curious to hear what you think and hear some great information about some of our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As your fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We 
don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect. Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com Spencer.